Okay, today we're going to talk about Einhard, the life of Charlemagne. Uh, Charlemagne was a mentor to a man named Marcus Tullius Cicero, otherwise known as Tully. And Einhard wrote this for Tully. Um, King Charles, or as you have heard of him as Charlemagne. Charlemagne is also um, short for Charles the Magnificent. Um, King Charles ruled for 47 years and passed away at the age of 72. Uh, Charlemagne waged many wars. Some of those wars were basically over before they even began. Um, some he finished up for his father. One of those lasted 33 years. Um, this one was with the Saxons. These were people, these were like the devil's people. So it's not surprising that he just continued on with this battle as long as he did, knowing his um, background in Christianity and and all of his beliefs and all that. Um, so he fought that war very relentlessly until he conquered them. Um, the greatest of all the wars was the Huns War. This one, they happened to cross a lot of riches and booty, as they called it in the uh, writing, um, that had been taken unjustly by many other nations, and the Huns had lived their life like they were very poor people. So whenever they conquered them, they found all these riches and booty hidden inside the, inside the uh, palace. And during his 47 year reign, Charlemagne successfully fought and expanded his empire to more than double its original size. By subduing his enemies, he gained bounty and glory from many other kings. Charlemagne was also all about education. Um, as far as the education goes, he felt that men and women should be, hot, be educated and be literate. He also made sure that all of his children, which he had several of, were um, educated and literate. And then as they became of age, he made sure that they um, learned trades appropriate for their gender. He always repaired any church and sac sacred edifice that had um, fallen to ruin. And he was always building and beautifying his city. Laws were reformed and were... Um, common made a common practice and applied justly. So anticipating his death, he also crowned his son Louis king. So there you go.